I got one of those wall wards. It's a 20, 24 volt wall ward connected to my watt meter. If you notice that the watt, it's drawn one point, about 1.35 watts itself for the internals of that uh, wall work. That's what it's drawn right now. Okay. Uh, nothing's working right now because I don't have the, I haven't given the magnet a spin. And I got 24.1 volts showing on my uh, input. To this <clears throat> my power supply here power box and I'm going to spin this right now and there we go now the object now is to get this up to about 4500 rpm okay and so we'll do that and in the meantime Take a look here now. This voltage until it remains unstable until it gets to about 4,500 4, RPM. You can see all kinds of crazy things happening here. This thing has to spool up. It gets to 4,500 RPM. By the way, I got my lamp down here. It's flashing right now. It'll go steady once it gets to about 4,500 RPM. That lamp then becomes steady. A steady what doesn't pulse like that. And I got a, a older charging circuit. The charging circuit plus that lamp somehow or other stabilizes the voltage. If it's like 27, 28 volts. Okay, there's in my power box right there. And so let's take a look at this now. It's still working this crazy thing. Now, if you notice over here on the watt meter, that's my input. Okay, so I got 7.9, something like that, 8.2, 7.9. You could take, you could extract what you want out of it. 8.3, 8.6. It's going crazy bananas too. In fact, up and down all the time. But this thing is still swollen up. Now, now this is, that is still on. I'm not. I haven't reached that 45. 100 RPM off setting yet. It's still still going up. In the meantime, things are still piling around. I guess. Now it's starting to stabilize a little bit. I get 29. It's starting to stabilize. It's 29 right now. It goes to about 27. I might, I might vary to do 28, 27, 28. It seems to, to take that. As soon as it gets up to about, about 4,500 RPM, the whole thing, it, it really stabilizes really nice. But it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy the way this thing is working. You have to have the lamp. As long as that lamp falls and it's not at that speed yet. I, know, I found that out. Crazy. Now the lamp is sort of stabilized. Not doing that Paulson business no more. And then I got a little bit of drop in the uh, light board here at 23.5. And I got a distance between the foil and the, and the spinning magnet, quite a distance. So I guess no lens law is applicable. So the closer you get, the more, you, the more that law comes into play. But there is a quite a distance now. I come over here, and mind you now that that input is 24 volts, 23, 24 volts. I'm getting an output here up to 28.55, okay? See, it's stabilizing right now. I'm not just staying up right on 28, so that thing is pumping on out right now. And I'm getting right up here about 8 point, uh, 8, 8.8, something like that. So you have to remember now, this reading here is including the, what, what the wall works using. So when we first started this, you, uh, you have to take that measurement that the wall work used and exclude it and subtract it from this particular reading right here. That's my input. The input is 23.6 volts. 
I am getting 28.62 out. Now, okay, that's the voltage I'm getting out. Now here, here comes the current. I'm going to go down here, snap this meter on here. Let's turn it back up so I just think it's quit for a while here. Okay. A zero. I, I'm hitting a zero button here. I'm trying to steady all this stuff while working with one hand. Here's the zero. Zero it. Now, where's the current? Okay, and that's DC current I'm measuring, by the way. It's not AC current, because everything here is DC. If I try this with another uh, meter, and I'm getting roughly the same same reading. And what I'm doing is I'm zeroing this out. Temperature is zero. And I go ahead and see what the readings are. 0.85. One eighty two, something around here, point eighty three. Alright, let me get let me get out of here. Alright, this red what the current was. Okay. So I'm back looking back at the let me get this in focus again. Here's my input. Maybe eight eight point seven something like that. Again, 28, 28, 28, 82, something like that. The voltage. You just saw what I got for the current. I just read the current off here. So you take the current times the voltage, and you're going to get watts, right? Well, over here, with the input, with the input, there we go, there we go. You can, that is a direct reading for your, your watt value right there. Subtract, subtract what you saw in the beginning of this uh, video before I had this thing started from that reading, and uh, that's your your watts. You got more watts coming out than what's coming in. Go figure. Let me know, folks. Got any comments or suggestions or whatever, let me know. Thanks for watching.